is a Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve this problem that is from solvable for P. So let's get started. Problem solve P plus Y plus X into X, P plus Y plus X into P plus 2X equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. P plus Y plus X into XP plus Y plus X into P plus 2X equals to 0. Right. Where P plus Y plus X equals to 0 and XP plus Y plus X equals to 0 and P plus 2X equals to 0. Right. We can write this as right. Now put P equals to dy by dx, then we'll get dy by dx plus y plus x equals to 0. Again, you can write this as dy by dx plus y equals to minus x, which is a linear equation. Like that. Here also if you put p equals to dy by dx. Firstly, divide all the terms by x. In order to eliminate this x. Or you can take x common from all the three terms. It will be easy, right? x times p plus y by x plus 1 equals to 0. Then p plus y by x plus 1 equals to 0. Now put p equals to dy by dx plus y by x plus 1 equals to 0. Now take this 1, 2. RHS and you get dy by dx plus 1 by x into y equals to minus 1 which is also a linear equation right and coming to the last one put p equals to dy by dx plus 2x equals to 0 you can rewrite it as dy by dx equals to minus 2x then dy equals to minus 2x into dx. Okay. Consider it as 1, 2 and 3. Now we are going to solve these 3. dy by dx plus y equals to minus 1 which is a 1 dy by dx plus 1 by x into y equals to minus 1 this is our equation 2 and dy equals to minus 2x into dx is our equation number 3 right These two are linear equations. You know that the linear equation is of the form dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. Where p and q are functions of x. So here we will be finding integrating factor which is equal to e power integral p dx and the general solution is given by y into Integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus into the constant c. Okay, fine. So, by comparing these two, we'll have p equals to 1 and q equals to minus x. 
here equals to 1 by x and q equals to minus 1. Now we need to find the integrating factor. Integrating factor is equals to e power integral p into dx is equals to e power integral dx which is equals to e power x, right? So the general solution here also we can find the integrating factor parallel e power integral p dx that is 1 by x into dx which is equals to e power integral 1 by x dx is log x. We know that e power log a equals to a so this is equals to x, right? Now we will find the general solution separately for 1 and 2. y into if equals to integral q into if into dx plus c. Okay, here also y into if equals to Integral q into if, if in the sense integrating factor into dx plus c. Now, y into you are having if is e power x equals to integral q minus x into if e power x into dx plus c is equals to minus integral x into e power x into dx plus c. Right? Now, we'll solve this. Consider u as x, consider x as u and e power x into dx as dv using Bernoulli's that is integral u into dv equals to uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 minus plus and so on, right? So for u equals to x and dv equals to e power x into dx. Find u dash derivative of u with respect to x is 1. u double dash derivative of constant is 0. Since u double dash is constant, you will neglect all the terms from here. Right? You will have only the first two terms. So, we need to find up to v1. In order to get v, we can integrate this. v equals to e power x. Now find v1, that is integral v into dx, not v, sorry. This is equal to integral e power x into dx equals to e power x. Okay? So this is equals to uv. u v minus u dash v1 u v minus u dash 1 into v1 e power x is equal to x into e power x minus e power x right minus of now replace integral x into e power x dx by e x into e power x minus e power x plus c Then, y into e power x, right? This becomes y into e power x plus x into e power x minus into minus plus e power x minus c equals to 0. Okay? Here you can also take e power x common from all the terms. Then, e power x into y plus x plus 1 minus c into e power minus x. Since e power x into e power minus x equals to e power x minus x, which is equal to e power 0, which is equal to 1. Okay? Fine. Equals to 0. From this we will get... 
y plus x plus 1 minus c into t power minus x equals to 0. You can stop it here also or you can simply factor here. Right? Fine. Now let's find the solution to equation 2. y into integrating factor is x equals to integral q minus 1 into x into dx plus c is equals to minus integral x into dx plus c which is equals to minus integral x is x squared by 2 plus c. So we are having y x equals to minus x squared by 2 plus c right. y x equals to minus x squared by 2 plus c. Then, x y plus x squared by 2 minus c equals to 0. Now take the LCM, we'll get 2 x y plus x squared minus 2 c by 2 equals to 0. Then, 2 x y plus x squared minus 2 c equals to 0. Since c being constant, you can write 2 c as c. Then you'll get 2 x y plus x square minus c equals to 0. Right. Now, integrate this on both sides. Here the variables are separable. So, we are integrating this on both sides. Then we will get y equals to minus 2 into integral x dx is x square by 2 plus integral constant c cancel 2. Then y plus x square minus c equals to 0 is solution to the 3. Right. The combined form of solution 1, 2, 3 will be the required general solution. Therefore, the general solution of the given equation is y plus x plus 1 minus c into e power minus x into 2xy plus x square minus c into y plus x square minus c equals to 0. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from solvable for P in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.